But what's really important is that you get this big old spirit bird for max stats. And it's that simple. I'm gonna help you how to get the mighty bow feather in Monster Hunter Rise, and we're gonna start right now. If this is your first time here and you wanna know more about Monster Hunter Rise among other video games, bow charge plus that like and subscribe button. I know a lot of you are farming for talismans. What's your dream talisman? Put it in the comments below. Let's get into it. Near the end of the game or when you reach HR7, there's a helmet that's available that is a must have for bow users. And that helmet is the mighty bow feather. It comes with bow charge plus which increases your max bow charge level by one. Let me show you what that means. Typically, bows can go up to three shot levels, and each consecutive shot level does more damage than the previous. So if you don't have this headpiece, if you can continuously dash dance, you will always be shooting level three shots. So with level three shot levels the maximum, meaning you can dash dance at level three continuously and constantly do level threes, what would happen if you continuously dash dance and have level four? This helmet will allow you to hit that fourth shot with his bow charge plus, so that your bow shots go from looking like this to this. Where do you craft this, I hear you asking? At the smithy, and you can forge this helmet by earning arena quest coins. What? What are arena quests? I'm glad you asked. Arena quests can be found with Master Utsushi in the gathering hub. You are offered these arena quests based on your hunter rank. You can see the level on the right side of the quests. Like arena one is HR1, arena two is HR2, and so forth. To forge this mighty bow feather, you'll need three Hunter King coins and two Berioth coins, which can be earned at arena four hunting Berioth, and two Ace Hunter coins and three Rajong coins, which can be earned at arena quest number five hunting Rajong. So these arena quests, what's the deal? You are tasked to hunt the target of monster in an arena. You are given five weapons to choose from. The Berioth quest has Sword and Shield, Gun Lance, Hunting Horn, Switch Axe, and Bow. So I know you bow users out there will do just fine with this quest. Keep in mind, they give you a set of armor to hunt the monster with. As a bow user, while hunting the Berioth, they give you full Zenogre gear that comes with latent power level 5, temporarily increases affinity and reduces stamina depletion when certain conditions are met. Also weakness exploit 2, which increases the affinity of attacks that exploit the monster's weak spot and that increases your affinity by 30%. And also constitution level 3, reduces stamina depletion when evading, blocking, or doing certain other actions, and that reduces it by 30%. It's a pretty sweet set for hunting this thing. To get the coins you need, the best chance to get those items is to get either A or S rank, which means for this Berioth quest, you have to beat it under four or 10 minutes. So once you're in, go ahead and go over to the bow. Again, you're gonna have the Rajong bow, which is primarily a pierce bow, and a full Zenogre set with latent power level five, constitution level three, and weakness exploit level two. You get some recovering items, but what's really important is that you get this big old spirit bird for max stats. And it's that simple. So it looks like I got one Berioth coin and three Hunter King coins and some extra goodies. For the Rajong quest, the equipment they give you is dual blades, great sword, long sword, lance, and heavy bow gun. But boogie boogie, there's, there's no bow. I know. If you know how to hunt with these weapons, you do fine at completing these quests. If you're strictly a bow user though, I'll help you with the mechanics that help me get through this quest by showing you some basics with the heavy bow gun. Like the bow, you can take out the weapon by pressing X or ZR. You can hold down ZL to aim, and then you can press ZR to fire. You can also hold down the shot, just like the bow, to fire a more powerful shot. You can see at the bottom of the reticule and the top of the stamina bar that you have a number of shots left in your chamber. If you get to the end of these shots, you'll have to reload. You reload with either X or ZR. There are ranges associated with the heavy bow gun. If you get too close, it will affect your damage. Also, if you get too far, it will affect your damage. Just like the coating of the bow, you can change your shot type by holding down the left trigger and then pressing X or B to scroll through the shots. No need for additional steps. They'll just be loaded automatically. Normal shot ammo has moderate distance. Spread ammo has close range distance. And pierce ammo is your farthest ranging shot. Stickies shoot an explosive projectile that if shot in the head, will eventually knock out your target. Slicing ammo is similar. It shoots a projectile that slices when it explodes. If you're close to the monster, if you need to, X and A is a melee attack. You also get a special attack by pressing A. going prone and firing. It shoots a very explosive round. And of course you have dodge rolls by using the directional stick and the B button. Because of the Narkakuga gear, you're gonna be dodging like the length of a football field. It's crazy. Let's try this out. 
Of course, you gotta grab the chunky spirit bird. It's that simple. Use your blast, sticky, and pierce shots, and you'll do just fine. I got five Rajon coins and a bunch of goodies, so I would have to do this one again. But Poogie Boogie, what armor do we wear with this new headgear? There's a few routes we can go. We can go with a crit heavy build with Zenogre Male S, Lagombi Van Braces S, Golden Olby, Goldie Hakama, then a high level Critical Eye Talisman. You can also go a high stamina route with the Rock Nakadaki armor, which you can slot in Critical Eye. It comes with spread up level three, which greatly increases the power of spread type arrows. So it's best to use spread bows with the Rock Nakadaki armor. Reload speed level two, so you'll automatically load in codings by just scrolling. Constitution level four, which reduces stamina depletion by 40%. You're gonna be running marathons with this gear. And Stamina Surge level three, which speeds up stamina recovery by 40%. Let's find out which bow build, meaning high critical or high stamina, is gonna get the most efficient times, meaning you can get more rewards for the time you spend playing. We're gonna try it on this quest, and also because it gives you a lot of parts for talisman farming. And because the Diablos are so large, we're gonna be using an ice bow with a level four pierce shot. Here's one more look at the gear before we go. So I got just over nine minutes. Now let's try the same quest with this stamina gear set. We have the Mighty Bow Feather with the Rockna Mail with Spread Up 1, Reload Speed, Critical Eye, and Ice Attack. Rockna Arm Guards with Constitution Level 3 and Stamina Surge Level 1. Rockna Coil with Spread Up, Critical Eye, and Ice Attack. Rockna Greaves with Constitution Level 2, Stamina Surge Level 2, and Ice Attack. And because we have Max Constitution, I'm going to use this Critical Eye Talisman Level 3. And to maximize this Armor Spread Up ability, we're going to be using this bow with Spread 4, Level 3. and I ended up with 1029. Yes, I had one faint because I had to remain really close to the monster if I really wanted to do damage. With the Rock Knock Docky armor and the Pierce bow we used from earlier, you get around 930. What if we had a mixture of the two, of both stamina and crit, such as this gear? We have Mighty Bow Feather, Xenogre Male S with latent power, weakness exploit and ice attack, Rock Knock Arm Guards with constitution and stamina surge, Golden Obi, with Heroics, Critical Boost, Maximum Might, and Ice Attack, and Golden Hakama, with Critical Boost, Latent Power, and Stamina Thief. And by farming Talismans, I was able to get this slotted Weakness Exploit gem. So I have Weakness Exploit, Constitution, and Ice Attack. So here are my skills. And it looks like a mix set got 750. You can do what's best for you, but so far, this is the gear that works best for me. I have a video right here if you're still deciding on what bow builds you want to use through high rank. Thank you for watching another Poogie Boogie video. Stay healthy, stay strong, catch you next time.